Hey there, welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to build a recessed header. Let's check that out together. He's got the spirit of a handyman. Basically, oh, what's up handyman. is we have this lovely living room space, and this um, is actually gonna become a kitchen. But we wanna make this a continuous flow, and so we wanna get rid of the rest of this wall and then recess this header. So um, this particular house, I, I can't speak to your house, but at least at this house, I'll take you up into the attic and show you what's up. Um, and basically what it will involve is building a temporary wall here and one over here to hold these um, joists running across the ceiling. Um, then we're gonna take this down and put up a new one up inside there. Um, then we'll drive all over everything. It'll be awesome, it'll be beautiful, and uh, show you how we do all that. Here's a look at that header from above. As you can see, all of these two by sixes are just sitting together. They're tied together, and right where they're tied together, they're sitting on top of two two by fours, which are then sitting on top of that header. So the goal is to cut all of these back, uh, remove the insulation, knock out the drywall, um, cut them back, and then put in the header up in that space. So we've got the temporary framing in place surrounding either side here, right? Cool, cool. Um, now we're gonna kick away um, this drywall. So we have those open bays, and then put in the bracing, and the new um, header, and then we can remove this. And uh, then once all that's in, we'll take away these temporary walls. At the end of today, I'm, I'm gonna go get some new headers. Basically, we've removed this, uh, the section of wall that used to be right here, right? Um, I'm gonna go get some brackets for that, um, a new header, and tomorrow morning, we're gonna put that up be able to take all this away, and uh, then recessed header galore. All right, you can do it. I can't speak for your home, but this was a ranch, and so the one room off to the right of the camera was about 14 feet, and the room off to the left was about 14 feet. So they couldn't have a two by six span that entire space. So that's where this wall and this header came from. It's basically just supporting the ends of these boards. You can see these boards sitting on the two by fours right there. So our goal um, is how can we support the ends of all of these two by sixes? Um, and the answer is a new header. So that header is going to be 16 feet long ways. It's gonna tie in right there where Mike is cutting away that. We're gonna have two, three two by fours that go down to the floor and three on the other side and that will hold up the weight of the header. You can see here we've trimmed them all away. All these two by sixes are basically just holding up plaster and drywall. They're not really structurally load bearing but we're still building this as if they were. Um, here's our new header. It is two by 12 by 16 and then we're tying two of them together with a little piece of plywood in between them because that is up to code for our space. It had to be a little bit wider. So here's the look from the top. After we actually heaved that thing up, it was pretty heavy, um, pretty tight fit, but uh, we got it in. So we put these brackets, these structural load-bearing brackets with, I think there's eight structural screws that go into each one. So the header is being held up by two by four cleats. The brackets are holding up um, the two by sixes and that is holding up the drywall and plaster. So here's that cleat over here, three of those holding up the weight of one end of the header. And here's what it looks like finished up in the attic after all of those brackets are in place. Um, you can see just a couple of these um, two by fours are kind of like extra brace support for the roof. Um, but there's a nice close up view of what that looks like. So basically we pulled back the plaster and the drywall so we had access to put the brackets up there and then we're just going to hang drywall back over all of that and uh, that header is now strong it's secure we can remove our temporary walls we can start to hang drywall and now we have one big continuous room uh, it took three guys two days to do this project 
So one day just to put up the temporary walls and then the second day to put up the header and uh, get everything and then remove those temporary walls. So there you go, that is how to recess a header. At least that's how I did it and hopefully that empowers you to go out there and do it yourself, save some money and make the world a more awesome place. Hey, click that subscribe button, comment down below if you have tips or tricks on how to do that and stay tuned for more updates from Spirit of a Handyman. He's got the spirit of a handyman.